Hi and welcome to this edition of Everything Home. Today on our show we're going to teach you how to fix a flat tire using a plug system. Now this is a great way to fix a flat tire if you have a smaller screw or nail in the tire. There are some limitations. As you can see on our tire here, we have a screw that's right about mid-tread. That's where our hole and our leak is in this tire. Now with the type of plug system, if you had the nail farther over, close to the sidewall, these aren't going to work good, or if you have a tear or a hole in the sidewall, you're not going to be able to use a plug system. But typically, if you've got a nail or something in your tire of a smaller size, and it's within this area on the tread, a plug is going to work great for it. Now we're going to get started on this. You don't have to take the tire off the car to do this. We took it off because it's a little bit easier to show you. But you can actually leave the tire on the car and do this repair. So let's get started. First thing we need to do is get our tools together for this. You're going to need your plug set, which basically you can buy this as a complete set. It comes with the rubber cement, the plugs, a round file, and then an eyelet push, which this is what you're going to be pushing the plug into the tire with. You want a tire gauge and a pair of pliers to be able to take out whatever it is in the tire, and also a glass of water with some soap mixed in it and that way we can check once we've done the repair to make sure that it's not leaking anymore. First thing now we have our tools together. We want to make sure and we have the tire off the car, but we want to make sure we have enough air pressure in it. So we're going to check the air pressure first on this and we've got plenty of air pressure. The reason we're going to do that, it's a lot easier to push the plug in and the file in when you have air pressure in your tire. Okay, the next thing we're going to want to do now that we have air in the tire we're going to set up the eyelet tool with one of the rubber plugs. So basically, you're going to remove one of the rubber plugs like that. And then this is going to thread in through the eyelet tool. And you're going to want to pull that in through the tool about halfway through. Now they're kind of sticky, so they're hard to get in there. We're going to pull that thing through about halfway just like that. Okay, now that we have the rubber plug and the eyelet tool, the next thing you're going to want to grab is the little round file. And this is as soon as we pull out the screw, we'll be taking this and putting this inside the hole to file out the hole. So next thing after you do that, you're going to want to grab your pliers and we're going to take out this screw. Now that we have that out, you can hear the air coming out. We're going to want to stick the file in here. Okay, once we get the file in there, we're going to want to file it out a little bit. And this is going to help the rubber adhere to the tire. Now that we've done that, we're going to take a rubber plug and the rubber cement, and we're going to coat this plug with rubber cement. Now that we have this coated with rubber cement, we're going to pull out the file. And we're going to stick the plug in. We're going to go in about that far and then pull the handle out. Now you've got this, the plug is in there. We're going to take some water and we're going to pour that over the plug. And as you can see, it's not bubbling now. So we've sealed that leak. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to take a razor blade and trim off the plug about even with the tire tread. Okay, now that we know it's not leaking, we're just going to trim off the top part. 
of that rubber piece. And as you can see, we'll pour a little more water on there again. Just to double check. To make sure that we don't have any air coming out and we don't. Now that we have the plug in and we know it's not leaking anymore, the next thing you're going to want to do is check your tire pressure again and add any air to your manufacturer's recommended PSI for your tires and your vehicle. Once you have that done, you're set and ready to drive. Well, congratulations on fixing your flat tire with the plug system. We're glad you're back on the road. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And we'll see you next time on Everything Home TV.